and welcome to the show, Balance. Get some of them in your life. Today, Blog Family, I want to give you a quick update of what's going on in my life and my existence here, but also I want to share with you something. You know, my business fits me. Does yours fit you? Very important question to answer. About seven years ago, I started a real estate appraisal business and recently I scrapped the business. It's time to get out. It just had to go. There was too much stress. The money started dwindling away and most importantly for entrepreneurs, the source of my money and the control I have on how much I make was no longer under my control. The stress levels are high, too many phone calls, too much red tape and litigation. I had to get out of the business. And I know a lot of people are afraid to start anew and start changing change in their life, but I'm not one of those people. I've always lived on the cutting edge. So scrapping the business, I got into internet entrepreneurship on a full-time basis. I'm very excited this business fits me. I have the skill set, the hunger and desire to continue to build upon that, to thrive in this industry. I work from home. I don't have to leave. No one calls me. The stress level is low. It's incredible. I should have done this years ago. Now, right now, my pay is down and my earnings are down and all of that good stuff, but the potential is maddening, literally maddening. And I know that with a little bit of dedication, driving, hanging in there from time to time, I'm gonna make it. I'm very excited about that. But this business really fits me. I'm wondering, does your business fit you? Now, you may be sitting on the other side of this camera and you may be thinking, what is Freddie talking about? I'm not an entrepreneur. I'm an employee. I work for someone. Well, there, there's another little mental shift I want you to take with me. Uh, there's an important book that maybe you should check out. I'll link to it at the bottom of the page. It's called You Incorporated. And it gets uh, employees or people who have regular jobs and everyone really to see their entire life as a business. You Incorporated. Because see, you took that job, you took that place of employment in exchange for your time and your talents for money. We all need it to survive, or at least the energy that it provides. But you took that uh, and you entered into an agreement with this employer for your time and your skill set. And they pay you for that. So that's a business contract. You pay taxes, you have expenses, it takes away from your family time, your life, uh, your friends, your enjoyment. So this, you, you are operating in a business inside of your skin and if you know anything about, um, if you know anything about the tax laws, you and your social security number is actually a corporation anyway, but that's a whole nother discussion. So you should see yourself this way and start ap operating that way. So my question was, does your business fit you? Are you doing the types of things that make you happy? Does it f make you fulfill? Does it make you encouraged? When the morning comes, do you leap out of the bed ready to get into action? Are you pulling the covers up, moaning and droning, dreading the day to start and begin? You know, this is a very important question, although maybe philosophical, but it's very important that you enjoy what you do because this translates into performance. And as a entrepreneur your performance is everything because that's going to affect your sales, going to affect your customer service, your word of mouth business, what people are saying to you, the respect level your employees might have for you, your clients. If you're working for someone else your happiness level is going to affect your job performance. How are you going to climb the corporate ladder if you really don't like the business, don't like the operation that you're doing, you can't promote enthusiasm to your superiors then why would they raise you up in the business a little bit further it doesn't make sense but so you have to be happy you have to be fulfilled you have to be passionately pursuing your goals and your dreams but you can't do that if your business doesn't fit now my suggestion is if it's not scrap it now don't be afraid Maybe don't go cold turkey like me, but you can slide into a different profession. You can start dusting up the old resume. You can start building other skills and, and developing other talents that might take you towards where you really want to be. Because here at FreddieTaylor.com, I'm really all about life development. We want to create the lifestyle that we want to live and enjoy on a regular basis. This is something that I know the internet profession or the internet entrepreneurship is going to lend to me because I have the freedom and flexibility and the lack of responsibility to clients and deadlines that I had in my previous business. That is all vanished and gone now. So this is closer to the life that I'm attempting, not attempting, the life that I'm developing for myself. 
Now, I know it could be a little bit scary, and I'm not saying that it's not tough, but I know that there's greatness inside of me, and I'm going to let it out. But here's the secret. It's in you, too. It's your host, Freddie Taylor, here at freddietaylor.com, reminding you to change your business if it doesn't fit, but also that all things happen, first in the mind, then in reality. Let's go get them. Follow Pantora, Blue, Elementals, 